Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video we're going to have a look at the new Windows 10 Redstone build 14352, the Windows 10 anniversary update as it will officially be called. A few uh, changes to this build including Cortana and Windows Inc features, many of them are US only so if you're in the UK uh, you're going to find some of these settings don't work or any other region other than US. I have changed my settings to US region. A couple of things have stopped working, a couple of things are now working, so first Cortana on the lock screen has stopped working, but that's because it won't download the US text-to-speech pack for some reason, um, which is why it's not working, even though I'm in US mode. So, let's have a look at the new features. So let's have a look at what's new in this build, and you can see my problem with how we downloaded language packs. I think that is a relatively new issue as well. Well. I think Cortana can do some stuff, but as we can't use speech, I'll use the text to type in. So with Cortana, you've got music improvements, so you can say, hey Cortana, play Pink Floyd, and it'll play Pink Floyd, or play a song name, and it'll play a song name, or even a, a playlist. And it uses the Groove catalog, the music catalog, so if you've got a Groove Music Pass, it goes all the way through. Uh, so even if you don't have the artist in your collection, it will do it. So I can do play... I think I did play music, Pink Floyd, and there you can see it on there. And it'll go off and play Pink Floyd. But let's try another one. There you go, it's playing Beatles. So that's playing from my music. Um, that's playing from my music collection or from the Groove Music accounts. Oh, just one quick thing as well. Notice, quick, we had a quick notification there. These are Android notifications. I'm coming from my Android phone, and uh, they're popping their way through um, into here now because I've got Cortana enabled on my Android phone. Right. Okay. So that was the, a new feature. Uh, as you can see, play artist, you can play a song name, groove playlist, or you can say pause. So I should be able to take pause. Maybe not. That's what you're supposed to do, but with speech recognition, you probably could. But I can't get the speech packs installed at the moment. So there you go, so that's, that's new through there. The other thing you can do is set timers. So you can say, set a timer for 10 minutes, like that. Again, I tried this earlier and that not worked. Let's say set a timer. There you go, so we can do it that way. It could be this because the speech packs aren't working. Let's, so there you go, I set a timer. And you can do things like uh, how much time is left, you can cancel my timer. <laughs> Something wrong. So we're going to see a lot of this message quite a lot in this video, I think. But anyway, that's the idea. Now, something that is working is ink notes. So I'm going to use my Surface Pen here and uh, we'll get the ink notes up. Let's bring up the sticky notes. So, I've added this in here. Now, so I created a note here calling in tomorrow, and you notice how it's gone blue. If you're in the English version, UK English, that doesn't go blue. It's because this knows that uh, in the US, where the feature is enabled, that it's a reminder. So, um, So let me create a new note, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll do a type it in, we'll tap on it. Um, so you can see it's created a reminder for 8 a.m., uh, for 1 a.m., probably not what I want to do, but you could do that. I wonder if that'll work now if I go back to this note. One day, there we go. Double tap on it, and I can add a reminder. So that is working, so that's how you can add uh, ink reminders into uh, using Cortana and um, this should sync across all Cortana devices. With Sketchpad, we on the ruler, there is something called compass now. So you see a little compass dial, it goes bold when you've got it on an angle. Like so, zero degrees, there you go, 90 degrees. 
you can see it bold as you get it on a sort of designated angle. Some of the changes, um, let's go up into Sketchpad and uh, Sketchpad will now dismiss if you tap Escape or the Windows key combination. So if you do Windows D, it should disappear like that. We've updated the export icon, it's now a little floppy disk, even though um, no one uses floppy disks anymore, everybody's sort of familiar with that. Um, Sketchpad and Screen Sketch are now the default inking uh, on experience on non pen enabled devices. Um, they fixed an, an issue where Sketchpad something needs to be tapped twice before it would fly out, as you saw, I could launch that fine on there. And uh, they updated the sticky notes to show a small sticky note icon next to the app name when hovering over the app in task view. So another new feature is here in the feedback hub. Um, it now shows whether Microsoft have responded to um, the feedback. So you can see changes made there. Um, so we made changes based on this feedback. So you can see if someone from Microsoft has actually responded and uh, added the response. And you can see the, the response there. Other changes, the File Explorer icon down here is now yellow again, instead of it being white. For enterprises, you can now go straight to, or you can upgrade to the enterprise version with a product key, details for that in the release notes. Um, you can do some more antivirus options in the Windows Defender for limited period scanning. So there's a whole list of bug fixes included with this, you can check those out in the release note. There's feedback hub localizations, Windows Hello doesn't crash Surface Books anymore, which is good. The restart required notification goes after a restart, uh, which is, can be confusing. There's quite a lot of uh, bug uh, fixes in this one. Also on the known issue side, previously installed extension edge may not work for around 15 minutes after you first sign in. A workaround is to manually reinstall each extension from the store. Um, some cases the new Cortana features highlighted above may not work. Resetting your PC should fix that issue. Well, there you go. We've seen some of these not working today. And um, Tweetium and Netflix doesn't work if you use uh, the keyboard to navigate around them. Um, you've like. You would use a keyboard like that, you've got to use the mouse. I guess you could use touch as well. Like I said, also the interests here in Cortana don't work if you're in UK English, they only work in US English. And that was a problem with the previous build as well. It did work sometimes, it didn't work other, but uh, it hasn't been working for a while now, so watch out for that one as well. You've seen the issues with Cortana. And I have these language pack download issues as well. But apart from that, it seems pretty good. Um, you've got the new updated Windows Store, which is probably something I didn't show in a previous release video, uh, which has got this new store. And if you look at a, an app in the store, you can actually see the platforms that it supports as well. So you get a lot more information with the new Windows Store and you get these new download um, view as well. So go to the post on the digitallifestyle.com for all the details and the known issues and the, all the changes. You can look back on our previous vid YouTube videos with all the other uh, builds on there on our YouTube channel. You can contact me at digitallifestyle.com or at ISDixon on Twitter.